Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general out of reading for my friends Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what messages want to come through for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Here we go. Three cards for you. You get a leg up, truth be told, and chop wood, which is a kind of an interesting combination. The chop wood uh, goes with the chop wood carry water mindset, which reminds me of the wax on, wax off from the Karate Kid movie. Paying attention to the small details, to the small things, so that we can be successful pursuing the bigger ones this can truly uh, make all the difference but there is patience also in the process so truth be told I love this card it can open doors not just a window um, being in alignment with the most truthful version of yourself it can be the key to to grant in your favor opportunities that can be a source of satisfaction. A leg up is a beautiful and lovely energy that is about uh, support, for example, uh, or cheering up for someone. This can be an energy that you are able to channel towards yourself. This can be um, a special person that is channeling this energy or possibly your inner circle of persons, family, friends. It's like, uh, go for it, for example. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about these energies. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see. Here we go. Page of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Moon energy, bottom of the deck. The moon is um, an interesting energy for me because it is about the unknown. Um, it can be something that can bring with it some kind of fear factor because we need to discover something. There is a veil that we need to uh, cut through for example because this is something that is yet to be discovered yet to be revealed properly but this can also be the opportunity to learn something that we didn't know before because we are brave enough to dive deeper and deeper into the understanding of something that uh, can be around us the learning curve allow me to say, is kind of meaningful because of the Page of Pentacles, which for me is the most diligent between the four pages. Because he wants to learn a lot of things so that it can be better and better. And talk about chop wood, carry water, or wax on, wax off. So I usually say that the pages can be awkward and goofy because they need to go through the experiences in order to raise their level. This can be true within this flow of energies, um, meaning that a token can be brought to the attention of some of you guys by a person that is someone that can be considered as deserving of attention, yes, because what the pages may have to share can be important and we get the six of pentacles in the flow which is for me a fair and fair exchange so the willingness to listen for example to what a person may have to say this energy is aimed 
at the chance to grant balance within a situation so that we can avoid one of the downsides of the energy, the one man up, one man down dynamic. And so this page will have the chance to express what it has to say or to offer. The Queen of Wands, beautiful energy, extremely self-confident. This can be an energy that some of you guys are perfectly able to channel. She is beautiful, magnetic, um, a source of attraction for those around her. She is in touch with her intuition, kind of diving deep within the moon energy. She has a black cat as a best friend. So she knows how to navigate through all the situations that she can find herself involved with. And she can be highly sought after also. But the queen is kind of looking with a no-look mode, allow me to say, towards the page of pentacles. So this can be... Um, this can be an interesting factor about the point that we were sharing before. This lovely token coming from the page can catch the attention of the Queen of Wands because she is able to grant uh, fairness and balance to the interactions that uh, she's called to face, basically. So let's clarify this combination. It is kind of interesting so far all right word energy eight of swords ten of wands nine of swords bottom of the deck i feel that these energies are kind of channeled by the individual that we can find in the page of pentacles because it's kind of like they fear that the queen will not pay attention to what they have to say but there is truth involved in the situation so the queen is extremely busy guys because of these ten of wands um, this is a completion we can agree because it is a ten so coming full circle also keeping in mind the word but this man is taking care of all his tasks in a driven way meaning with the responsibility because he needs to do that and this can be what the Queen of Wands needs to do in her everyday life so possibly some of you at the same time this man is looking for the moment where where he will be able to let go of all the burdens that he has carried on his shoulder for quite some time this will grant completion and possibly the opportunity to begin a new chapter. The Eight of Swords is the kind of energy that is a, an illusion of the mind, allow me to say. And I am saying this because of the Moon that we have seen and the Nine of Swords which is a self-inflicted energy because the mind is working against us. So, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords are coming from the Page of Pentacles uh, person. This person has something important and truthful to say in favor of the Queen of Wands, which is kind of busy. This person fears that the queen will not pay attention to the token and so fearing a one man up one man down dynamic they find themselves in a prison of the mind the lady in the eight of swords doesn't realize that if she walks forward she can break free from these swords surrounding her which are thoughts but she is blindfolded bounded in a rope she has no exact perception of what's going on but the mind is playing against her going along with the nine of swords anxiety sleepless nights overthinking everything let's say this which can be uh, more um, 
more in alignment with this flow of energies, overthinking. So the page is overthinking everything about the token that it wants to share with the queen. To make my point clearer, the page is thinking that the queen is out of his league. And so the word is kind of um, an interesting energy because it is about completion, but not necessarily the one that the page is fearing. This is about lessons. It's kind of something that can encourage the page to raise the level. Because remember that we have seen the... Um, the factor about the desire to learn coming from the page of pentacles lessons so it can be better the word yes it is completion but it brings with it major lessons that can make all the difference in the following chapters of the journey because they can be implemented properly so that we can be successful kind of being strengthened from the past experiences so to recap and uh to try to make myself clear this is a flow of energies guys about possibly some of you that are dealing with a trustworthy and reliable person possibly someone that may uh, have you in extremely high regards this does not mean that they put you on a pedestal but they kind of see you as amazing they may fear the fact that you are interested in other circumstances, other persons or other stuff because you are extremely busy, you are doing your thing, you are quite amazing on your own. They would love to express something truthful with the truth be told energy and they need to raise the level to overcome the fear of being ignored and so the word can come to play in their favor in their favor basically despite the fact that a 10 and a word it's coming uh it's like coming a uh, full circle but this can be uh, the opportunity for them to uh, catch the attention of the queen they need to uh cheer themselves up basically to follow along uh, the considerations that we were sharing in the uh, very beginning of the reading so guys let's see where these energies are going are these are kind of interesting but we'll see so um i truly hope it was helpful i'll continue on vimeo i'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below let us know if you resonate leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye